Today is gonna be Lola vs. Kawa involving the Lighthouse vs. Casagantes. I'm going to revise my original ideals, which is Community Disservice, and compare that episode to a Casagantes episode. And for me personally, thinking about this episode after months after deleting the finished video goes to show that this episode is good, but at the same time, the future just makes this episode difficult to enjoy. As for the Crossagantes episode, Matters of the Cards, which is a Carl centered episode, both episode similarities is that both characters need to be nice, but at the same time, it's difficult for one of them to be nice. Mainly the fact that in Community Disservice, Lola is just trying to do community service, but at the same time, she ended up doing community disservice. All the while, they matters of the cart. Kara wants to ride a pizza cart, which is his dream, but then Irvin manages to win the pizza go cart, even when Kara manages to wake the waffing system. And for me personally, whenever I think about Irvin in this episode, he really feels like a really nice person, but at the same time, way too nice, but more on that later. In Community Disservice, Lola needs to be a study, a student buddy with Mela, who is extremely shy. And usually, since that this is one of the Lola Center episodes where we get to see Lola at her best or mostly at her worst, this, this episode, especially from Season 4, showcases her at her best but not for the right reasons until towards the end of the episode. Since that Lola is most likely self-absorbed about the sun beam patching, all the while wearing a crown, it really goes to show that she was using Mia in, for her own benefit. And similar to the Casagantes episode, Kawa is just trying to be nice in order to use his manipulation in order to get the go card. Unfortunately, the major difference is, is that Lola is a passion person. As for Kawa, on the other hand, he's most likely a schemer. The reason why I say most likely is because in this episode, while he tries to scheme, it really felt unconvincing, which is, which is I can understand onto why people did not like this episode centering around Kawa, but considering that Evan is most is too generous and too nice towards people like Kawa. I honestly felt like that this episode won't even work, but at the same time, I can't really go against Kawa's character completely if he's being in the scenario by not being handicapped by nice people like Irvin. But the biggest difference is that Melly is a younger child while Irvin is a grown person and the and the differences that i've seen between the two is that melly just doesn't understand how life is when it comes to our future unlike lola and for me personally it really suits for lola's predicament in order to do community service even though that she's doing community disservice one of the reasons why I scrapped my old review of this episode is the fact that Lola's character development just means nothing afterwards, similar to the other characters from this show. And the way I see it, I would really understand that if I did upload my review of Community Disservice, it would just be mostly a waste of time. I'm not saying that it would be a bad idea to upload it, but considering that I had regrets on deleting videos last year, this was definitely not one of them. And if you ask me, Lola has become one of the most difficult characters to have any likability into them. Like, we deal out maybe a few examples, even if she knew how to read before and after, but when it comes to this episode, it really feels like that they want us to root for Lola, especially her change of art towards the end. But at the end of the day, 
it just doesn't change the fact that she goes back to how she was in the past in Leo seasons and it doesn't change the fact that whenever I look at Lola in this episode it's basically the same effect or after effect after I watch the Lenny episode Shop Gore. Look, I understand that Lola is six to seven years old, but the thing is, it doesn't change the fact that what happens afterwards just decreases her likability. You can't just make me root for this character all because that she has a hot temper 100%, and while her hot temper is sometimes justified, I honestly felt like that's how she's, how she's betrayed in later seasons after not learning the lessons from this episode, just goes to show that whenever I see Lola in later seasons, especially before this episode, then there is nothing I would approve involving Lola's character development since that it just keeps decreasing like every other character. And I need to be real with you when it comes to the Crossagantes episode. Carl never approved after this episode. Because in all honesty, being nice, even if he did attempt to do more of that seriously at the end, doesn't change the fact that it's way too hard for him. Like, unlike Lola, who tries to be nice at some points, it's just not really a tax for Carl to do in Matters of the Cart, knowing full well that the title of the name really sums up of how Carl's situation just is way harder compared to Lola's predicament in community disservice. And the reason why Olven manages to give Kawa his pizza go-kart is because Kawa and Sergio faked a huge bolt fight with Olven being in the mix. With Kawa saving Olven's pizza, apparently the only way to get a go-kart is to save someone else's pizza by a pack of birds, which I understand it's physical, but the thing is, Alvin is way too generous to send his go card away to any other child, especially since that child is still a stranger to them. Like, you can understand that child can receive good deeds and good items from citizens around them, but at the same time, Alvin is just way too generous regardless of his age. Since that he won the gold card himself, he wouldn't be that generous to give it to someone even if they faked a bolt fight in order to get what they want. That's the thing when it comes to Alvin. He is the problem of this episode. I mean, he's not hateable nor unlikable, but at the same time, he is way too generous. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, Lola may have done some selfish things throughout this show, but she will probably make it way too easy in Matters of the Cards if, he was, if she was in Carl's position. No matter how I see it, and no matter how much that Lola is somewhat of a selfish brat, she can make any situation simple for herself. And even if Kawa is a schemer, her, him being nice just isn't his main attributes compared to Lola. Because there are times where Lola can be nice for the right moments. The fact that she was that she's willing to sacrifice her sunburn crown in order to hang out with Melly at Dairyland just goes to show that she knows how to be nice for the right reasons, and this episode is a prime example. And for me personally, whenever I look at Lola when it comes to Leo episodes, it really feels like that the Leo episodes are just taking ideals straight from this episode, mainly revolting Lola back to the way she was, to the point that she doesn't get any improvement at all, and all we're just gonna be seeing is... Her being cute because she is six to seven years old, dancing with her mother, is done right, but not for the right reasons when it comes to character development. I wouldn't say that the later episodes are cuteness manipulation, but at the same time, those episodes mainly crowned in Dolly 
aren't better compared to Community to Surface or any of the earlier episodes. The biggest problem is that it just reverts Lola's character back to square one. It's almost like if they had an episode with Lola and Melly hanging out and Melly just witnesses the temper from Lola, they won't be able to go any further because Melly is too shy to handle the rage from others. And if that's the realism that Nickelodeon wants to do in order to prevent that realism when it comes to these two characters and to why Melly hasn't returned after this episode, then I'm not even sure if it's a good idea to have this episode exist in the first place. This is why I consider this episode way too similar to Shop Girl, because the future after those episodes just means nothing, and we just gonna have to come up with, my, with our own assumption of what the future would have been like if the characters had progression. And I think the biggest difference between two episodes is that while the Loud family sees Lola as a spoiled brat who does terrible deeds, the Quasigantes do the same thing, but they will never expect Kawa to do a good deed at all because they know full well that he's incapable of doing good deeds or nice things in general. Which really goes to show that this episode does a good job on making the Quasigantes somewhat smarter than they were in previous episodes or after. But at the same time, when people say that this episode is bad, it's most likely the fact that they just cannot stand Kawa or just see how this episode's execution just didn't work out for them. I need to be perfectly honest with you, while this episode may be a mixed bag, I can't say for a fact that it's terrible. I mean, it's not good completely compared to Community to Service spoils that Loud House is better than Quasigandes in this case. I can't say for a fact that this episode is bad. Because for me personally, I've seen other episodes involving Kawa that are somewhat insufferable, but at the same time, I really felt like that his motivations in this episode just goes to show that he is a completely different character than Loa, since that there were a lot of teasing when it comes to the scenes of the two in the episode cost. They did have a fight in the Thanksgiving episode, but if you watch the Quasigantes cost episode, there were three moments where the two were going against each other. I'm going to assume that somewhere in Season 7 or in the future, there's going to be an episode centering around the two. And that's where the real competition comes into play, if they're ever going to make an episode centering around Lola and Kawa facing off each other. Or teaming up together, but that's most likely an episode for Carlota and Lenny to do. As for the ending of Mantles of the Cart, Oven decides to give Kawa a second chance while also using the go kart to do good teeth for so many people in the park. You know, I was thinking that this was a stupid way to wrap up this episode, considering that Oven was being way too generous, but considering that he's giving Kawa a second chance, I'm starting to convince that this is supposed to be a way to give Kawa a good ending, and Compared to the other episodes I've seen well, the characters just get good endings despite the fact that they're terrible characters who did terrible deeds that don't deserve good endings, I have to say that Kawa just isn't one of those characters considering that even if he did fake a whole boat fight when it comes to getting the go-karts that he's dreamed of, it really feels like that the more he gets older, he understands how important it is to be nice, and considering that Nickelodeon has officially made aging canon in this show, I'm not even sure if it's honestly a good or bad ideal. Considering that the characters, including, including Lola and Kawa, will end up forgetting their lessons in the future. But at the same time, I prefer Community to Surface over Matters of the Cart. Considering that Lola was actually given a lot more in this episode compared to how Carl was betrayed in Mantles of the Court. Also, I like to point out that last year, the Cross of Grand Days was te technically ahead because in my Halloween episode, I stated that it's most likely a tie between two shows, but 
Apparently I was wrong. I completely forgot that in the first versus video, which is the swimming episode, the Crossagantes beats the Lao House. And when it comes to the Christmas episodes, apparently the Crossagantes was still won when it comes to best 3 out of 5 points. So in reality, it's 5 to 5. It's officially a tie after this video. Granted, I made so many mistakes, but in all honesty, with this detail in mind, it just goes to show that we're officially reaching a tie after 10 versus videos involving the La House and the Crossagandes. With that being said, Community to Surface gets a 7.75 out of 10, while Mantles of the Cart gets a 6.25 out of 10, and believe it or not, I do have another idea involving a Lola vs. Kara episode, but that's going to happen in the future like the other projects I have in store involving these videos.